after discussion of phase 1 configuration of dynamic multi point vpn now we going to talk about phase 2 so phases actually differentiate based on their three factor which is traffic pattern routing issue or limitation of routing in scope of scalability if we talking about phase 1 there was a big issue spoke to spoke direct communication were not allowed so suppose if you have a uh, if you have a two spokes that is not a big deal spoke if they want to send data from one side sorry one spoke to another spoke first they are going to send data to the hub and hub it going to forward to the appropriate direction or a appropriate spokes so suppose if you have a two sorry more than 10 or a 100 spokes if spoke to spokes communication going to occur every spokes going to send data to the hub which is make bottleneck of network because every spokes going to send data again and again to the hub and then hub going to send to appropriate direction which is appropriate spoke so that might cause problem so because of that we going to talk about phase 2 and phase 3 configuration of dynamic multi point vpn so both phase 2 and phase 3 allow spoke to spoke communication so the difference between phase 2 and phase 3 is phase 2 allows summarization sorry phase 2 not allowed summarization in default route from the hub but phase 3 the summarization in default route allowed from the hub so that's why phase 3 is the current uh, technology which is using in network so uh, let's discuss little bit more about phase 1 why spoke to spoke communication is not allowed or why communication from one spoke to another spoke directly not sending actually it is because of the configuration as we can see hub only going to run multi point gre tunnel but spokes they have point to point tunnel which basically means they cannot send directly traffic or one spoke cannot send directly traffic to another spokes if we are talking furthermore about the routing issue and neighbor adjacency which is going to the same on phase 2 on phase 3 as well so this is not part which we are going to discuss like routing issue right now so let me hop over my console window as well as the topology where I can show the phase 2 configuration before phase 2 configuration I would like to show the current information or current configuration of phase 1 so so run interface tunnel 0 so as we can see uh, the key is tunnel mode GRE multi point this is the hub router in order to form uh, OSPF neighbor adjacency correctly we have also tune our tunnel interface as a broadcast and if we are going to create a broadcast network we also make sure your hub going to become as a DR because somehow if headquarter going to become or a spoke one become going to become DR your another spokes or all spokes they might not get the routing update because I am the DR sorry I am the spokes and I am directly connected with hub only I don't know the rest of spokes since I am the DR and I am the uh, root uh, you can say the root propagation point I propagate the routing information to the hub only because he is directly connected with me in rest of his scope they are not aware about the network which is in which is in this topology so maybe we have uh, network right there network right there your hub not going to propagate it again because 
your hub is not working as a DR. So that's why we need to tune little bit your tunnel interface because by default your tunnel going to be point to point tunnel. So point to point network I should say. So this is why we have already tuned the IP OSPF priority. So we are going to decrease priority of all the spokes which is 0. So they are not going to they are not going to elect DR or BDR and I am going to elect as a DR. Uh, likewise you are talking about spoke 1 and spoke 2 they have defined their tunnel destination which basically mean this is point to point tunnel. So let's see on uh, spoke, spoke 1 and spoke 2 both they have defined their uh, destination on tunnel interface which basically means point to point as I told you earlier. So the things which we are going to change the tunnel going to be multi point GRE tunnel on all spokes. So they are not more point to point tunnel they are now they are now going to uh, multi point GRE tunnel. So interface tunnel 0 and then after no tunnel destination on all router and then after tunnel mode GRE multi point. So great. Now what we going to see let me show you do, do so run interface tunnel 0. Now we supposed to have a multi point GRE tunnel on both router as we can see we do have. So one more thing which we need to one more thing which we need to do flap the interface. So shut and then after no shutdown because the earlier registration was point to point but now it going to be multi point GRE tunnel. So that is good and let me verify do so dmvpn so both hubs now registered with sorry both spokes now registered with hub likewise spokes are registered their hub information now the next thing is we need to verify whether we have direct communication allowed in phase 2 or a spokes to spokes communication allowed. So let me show you. As we can see neighbor adjacency or already formed. So exit out from all router. Trace route 10.10.10.20 which is IP address of spoke 2. So first packet going to be sent to the hub and then after let me send it again. Now it going to directly send to the spoke rather than hub. Similarly you can check on other, another end 10.10.10.10. You can see we directly sending data from one spoke to another spoke. So now one spokes to another spokes or spokes to spokes direct communication is allowed. Similarly, we are going to discuss more about the routing issue on phase 2. So, for example, let me check the routing table. So, so IP root. So, everything is fine. Suppose if we trying to trace route 192.168.2.1 the lookback IP address of spoke 2 2.1 and the source going to be my lookback 0. 
we can say uh, we can see here we sending directly traffic let also discuss about phase 1 and phase 2 configuration tuning in order to your routing protocol work correctly if we using phase 1 ospf so your tunnel interface should be broadcast or point to multi point in both cases your routing protocol going to be work if we using enhance igrp we need to disable split horizon likewise if you are talking about phase 2 uh, tunnel interface should be broadcast only so if your tunnel is going to be point to multi point so spokes to spokes communication were not allowed so let me show you the con current configuration which is so the current configuration is as we can see the tunnel interface 0 on hub which is broadcast on spokes again broadcast and broadcast if we going to change it so currently everything is fine let me show you so ip root so we have all the route we can send uh, traffic from one spokes to another spokes let me verify this again would like to trace route 192.168.2.1 source is loopback 0 we can see we sending data directly so suppose interface tunnel 0 ip os pf network point point to multi point so now the problem going to be occur because in point to multi point your next hop going to be hub so you going to send your routing update to hub and hub forward it to the other spokes so spokes blindly believe in order to get that network i need to send traffic to the hub because hub is a person who advertise about that network because of that even if you running phase 2 configuration you are not going to send data directly so now we can see right there so if we going to see so ip route in order to get network 2.0 where i need to go so as you can see in order to get your network which is 192.168.2.0 you need to send data 10.10.10.1 which is your hub same thing which is trace route now we can see because we come to know about that network via hub because of that we are going to send this traffic through hub so that's why i am talking about in phase 2 broadcast your tunnel should be configured as a broadcast so for enhance igrp let me clear off configure terminal no router ospf what from all the router and now what I'm going to do, enable enhance IGRP. So router enhance IGRP1, no auto summary, no auto summary, out all router in the network, which is loopback address 10.10.10.0. .10 as well as uh, loopback interface, which emulating as a line 192.168.x.0. So x.0 which is 0 1 and then after 2 so first i would like to check the neighbor adjacency on all router do do so ip enhance igrp neighbor so spokes they have directly formed neighbor adjacency to the hub and hub to spokes but if we going to check our routing table so there is two issue first issue is split horizon so whatever network connected with this spokes one or spokes two they're going to send their update to the hub and hub 
since using the same interface which is tunnel they are not going to advertise back to the spoke 1 or spoke 2 because of the split horizon so first we need to disable split horizon on your hub router so interface tunnel 0 no IP I would like to check routing table first do so IP enhance IGRP do so IP root which we learn from enhance IGRP so hub no both of network if we are talking about spokes they have only hub network so spoke they do not have any information about another spokes because of split horizon so no IP split horizon enhance IGRP1 after disabling split horizon it going to resync now spokes to spokes traffic word allowed but they again sending from the hub you know why because they get advertisement they get network advertisement from the hub and based on their information they going to send traffic from hub to spoke so let's show you on spokes one if we want to see so ip root 192.168.2.0 which is loop back of spoke 2 so so ip root 192.168.2.0 we can see we have learned from 10.10.10.1 so again let me verify you 192.168.2.1 source interface is my loopback we sending data from hub and then after spoke again you can change to from other end so i would like to trace route traffic 192.168.1.1 from the hub because we come to know about spokes network by the hub so there is a command which is basically used in dynamic vpn on your tunnel interface no next hop self so let me tune this one as well no next hop excuse me no ip next hop self enhance igrp autonomous system one so once we execute this command now your spokes to spoke communication is allowed so first would like to show you the network again sorry uh, routing table again so ip root which we have learned from the enhance igrp or uh, specifically on spoke 2 do so ip 192.168.1.0 how I can get network 1.0 do so IP then after root so now I can directly send data to 10.10.10.10 so check it out do trace route 192.168.1.1 my source address going to be my loopback 0 now we can see because your hub is not going to uh not going to send information that i am the originator of this network you can get whatever network is advertised by spokes to me you can get it directly rather than coming to me this is what uh, that tuning you need to require in order to work your routing protocol correctly on phase two in upcoming section we're going to discuss about phase three before before going i would like to uh, show you again if i like to get network which is 2.0 connected to the spoke 2 along using my source uh, loop back 0 you can see spoke to spokes communication is allowed by executing this command so this thing which we need to tune you know you need to know also so in upcoming section we're going to discuss about phase 3 in this video this is all about